The slider you are looking at right here is from SAP. Both of them are from SAP. But when I get a package, it's being packed by Manfrotto. So I'm thinking probably maybe they kind of collaborate. Probably Manfrotto is taking over SAP. The first slider I got from them is purely wrapped in SAP packaging. These two actually come in Manfrotto packaging. And at that being said, there's one thing I noticed about, you know, the box that this thing comes in. It's kind of very flimsy. And I don't know why Manfrotto have to go that really, really cheap on that packaging. But it is what it is, all right? So back to the slider. There's a reason why I get this in the first place. Why do I have the need for this one now? And that is the reason why I'm making this video. Probably you may have been in my shoe or you are deciding to get one of this slider. I think this may kind of help you in making that decision if you have to go for the short one or the medium one. So this is two foot, 24 inches. And this is a three foot, which is 36 inches. So you have that two size and there's the last one, which is even longer than this, I think that is going to be maybe five foot. I don't know. That's like in the 50 something inches or so. It's a little bit longer than this. From now, I'm going to be calling this two foot. So I upgrade to the two foot and um, I like it. The reason why I upgrade to the pro level is because of the flyway. I need the flyway. You don't get that in the kind of the regular version, but the pro can give you the flywheel that you have on the carriage. It is embedded under the carriage, the flyway. My main reason for getting the 24 is because I want to use it on one tripod. I don't want to use two tripod. This, in most cases, you're going to need two tripod to stand it, and I'm going to show you why. Why do I choose this instead of this now? It's because this is going to be like, for what I'm using it for, it's going to be two in one. If I need that short travel, I'm just going to move from here to here for that short travel. And if I have the need for more travel, it's already set up there. There's no need for tearing down and setting up again. Both of this slider will give you the same benefits of the flywheel, all right? Either you go with the shorter one, the longer one, or even the one that is longer than the three foot. One obvious reason that made me go with this slider is because this slider is beltless. The gear is kind of built into the rail. You don't need belt like that of um, Adachron. There's no need for that belt. So. The gear in this case is built in the rail. That's one advantage. Second thing that made me like this is because of the flyway that is built inside the carriage. You only have to engage the flyway like so and you have smooth movement from here. And in the case of this also, you can engage it and give you that smooth movement. That's the major thing that made me like this slider. Now let's look at it. Why? Do I choose this instead of this? The price wise, when you are buying them in the complete set, uh, it's just a little bit of, you know, the, the, the gap is not that much from the two foot to three foot. It's just a little gap when it comes to price. But for my use, in most cases, I'm going to need this much travel of a 24, you know, of a two foot travel is going to be more than enough for what I'm doing. So in my own case, in my workflow, let's assume I'm going to use this slider 10 times. Out of that 10 times, the travel that I'm going to need for this size of a tripod, probably maybe six times out of that 10 times. And the remaining will be that I need this long of a distance. So I'm thinking that if I buy this because of the portability, what about if I need this much travel? That means I have to buy extension because today they normally come with extension and the extension is infinity. You can add extension as much as you like to infinity length. If you can pay for the extension, you can keep adding it on. But I don't want to put more money in buying the extension and putting the extension together. That's going to make the bag bulky. You're going to have to back to carry if you are traveling. So. In most cases, I'm not gonna need more than this travel, which is the three foot. So in my case, even though I need two foot travel distance, that is 60%. The remaining 40%, I'm gonna need that 30, you know, the three foot distance. So I decided to go with this one because it's giving me two in one. Even though this is already building, if I get extension to add to this, if I need more travel distance, it will be longer than this, then I will not need two tripod or two light stand to make that happen. But the downside to this is that the 36 inches cannot stand on one tripod or one light stand. But if you look at my setup, I have this on one tripod and I have this extension just to hold it. It's not rock solid, but 
it stabilizes it enough for the weight of this camera from point a to point b when you look at this there's no dip in my own case i'm using this manfrotto probably i don't know if it has magic armor so that's what i use and uh it's kind of stabilizes for me get the job done the length of this slider is not going to be ideal to be to, to stand it on one tripod it will not be ideal and if they decide to have this mounting to be centered i can guarantee you that a lot of people are going to be putting on one tripod and when they do that they will put every camera on this and when they have that dip, they will blame the manufacturer that the slider is not stable, is wobble or whatever, whatever. I want to tell you that they, for that not to happen, they decide not to center this mounting plate. They make it two and they put it like three quarter on each side and one on each end, the extreme end. Now let's look at it and I like what they did. You can get two ship tripod to put on each end or you can use um light stand. It will work for you and that can cost you less than between 100 to 200 dollars that will give you better stability compared to putting this on one ft tripod the price you're going to pay for a tripod that we hold this is going to be way 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 higher than buying two light stand or two shift tripod i don't know if you get it, the logic so i can understand that sap decided not to put the mounting at the center because of the length they put it on the side but in my own case i still want to get away with one tripod so i use if you look at how i mount it you look at that my tripod is right here why i have this much length so i mount it on this side i extend the leg of my tripod in a way you are looking at it right now and uh I use this Manfrotto to hold it. It's not rock solid like I said, but it get the job done. Meaning I can still get away with one tripod using this slider that because that's the only thing that is making me to back out from buying it before. But now that I understand I can do it this way, that's what I'm trying to explain. So if you really need to get it three foot and you don't want to use more than one tripod, I think this will be one of the best way to mount it and get away with one tripod. And that is the main purpose of this video that if you don't want to use more than one tripod, this will be an ideal way to set it up. Okay. Either one of these two that you choose, if you are getting any one of these in the box, you're going to have the slider. You're going to have a current case, it's a soft current case, not the best, but at least it will keep the try uh, the slider from getting scratched. Bag, you're going to come with this. You're going to have this strap for the for the bag to carry it. Now you have this two extra. It's just going to connect this like so. Once you have that in there, you can take. Let's say this is your extension. It's not the extension is not going to come with the end cap. The slider without the end cap and without the carriage. So once you have this, then this will come and you put it in. Once they are in, you just lock it up like so. And it's rock solid. If you want to disassemble it, just open the latch. You take it out. And you're good to go so it's going to come with two of this so that's all you're going to get so if you are yet to be a subscriber and you really want to see how i'm going to build this slider up i will suggest you subscribe click the notification button so that you will get notification when i build this up because i'm going to be putting the pan and teeth edge with the rope because this is kind of using our rope to move from point A to point B. And if you want to see how that work, stay tuned. We're gonna be doing it together. That's gonna be it on this one, like I said. Just stay tuned and see how I'm gonna build them up. Until next time, guys, stay blessed. Bye-bye.